For those of you who missed the last two haul videos, I went to my local old book barn the other day. Uh, they sell a lot of old, old and new books, and I actually got into comics by going to the old book barn. I used to go there as a kid, picked up some Spider-Man and some Superman comics. Uh, probably about once a month or so, I would go there and just dig through the comics. Came to my attention when I was there this week, they're going to stop selling comic books. And at the end of the month, whatever's left is going to be recycled. So they had all their comics on sale for 10 cents a piece. So this past week, I picked up 80 comics from there, hopefully to save them uh, from the recycling bin. On this comic book haul, we're gonna be taking a look at my DC Comics haul. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, so up first in this comic book haul, we have JSA number 86 from August 20 or 2006. Levitz, Ordway, Ross, and Makis. Uh, for those of you who don't know, JSA is the Justice Society of America. They came before the Justice League. Uh, they were the Golden Age uh, version of the Justice League pretty much. Uh, you got Power Girl, you got Wildcat, and you got Alan Scott, the Golden Age Green Lantern, who went on to become known as the Sentinel. Up next, we've got Starman, number 50, Stars My Destination, Lighting the Way, from Robinson Goyer, Snedger, <laughs> Grab Badger, and Champagne. Very nice looking cover. I've always liked these uh, foil covers. Very nice and shiny. Kind of mockingbird like that. <laughs> Up next we have the Ray number three in a blaze of power. Ray was always one of my favorite comic book heroes. Uh, ever since the days of Superman Blue when Superman first got his electrical powers, uh, he asked the Ray for advice on how to uh, control them. Um, the Ray, of course, has light-based powers, very similar to Green Lantern, only his, uh, the sun charges him. So he's like a cross between Green Lantern and Superman, pretty much. And he's always kind of been the rookie hero. No matter how many years the uh, comic has been out, He's always kind of been considered the rookie hero. Up next, we have Secret Origins, number 49, featuring the Newsboy Legion from the pages of Superman. Uh, the Newsboy Legion, of course, made their introduction in the Death of Superman storyline, uh, as well as Funeral for a Friend. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Newsboy Legion are young clones of the different heads of Cadmus. Up next we have the Ran Thanagar War number two of six. Gibbons, Reyes, and Compost. Four months until Infinity Crisis. You've got Adam Strange there. You have Kyle Rayner, the Green Lantern. You've got uh, I'm not sure if that's the Hawk Girl or just a hawk girl from Thana, from Thanagar. Uh, I'm not sure. From the looks of it, it could be the hawk girl. But a very nice cover. I really like it. Then we've got Armageddon, the Alien Agenda, number four, by Peterson, Giordano, and Mitchell. And now the final moment. As you can see. the monarch there unmasked which is actually hawk from hawk and dove for those of you who don't know and you got captain adam there very nice armageddon the alien agenda number three all right monarch you low down belly crawl environment make your play you got a western version of captain adam there against monarch very nice uh by the same uh by Peterson, Weiss, and Rubenstein. And then finally we have 
Armageddon, The Alien Agenda Number 2, Captain Adam Trapped in Ancient Rome. Very nice comics. I'm glad I got them. Uh, I can't re wait to finish out my the Armageddon storyline so I can finally read it after all these years. I've never actually read it because I've only picked up issues here and there. But eventually I do plan on picking up every issue and reading it from beginning to end. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.